dreamer Hope to never depend on FEMA Heart dark as the waters of Katrina How you seen her? Life's a bitch with the music in between her Nothing sweeter Lux in your speaker Soldier copy me clear it in the screener uh, Reach my zenith through limousines on the zenith It's seen on my mama screen A Mercedes Benz or the Beamer uh, Profit for preachers Pockets, pews of the bleachers yeah. Where do you get shot for sneakers? The shell tops ain't Adidas My mission is strictest Ooh. That's why I'm in position With my guy who got convicted On the line from the prison He said talk to me uh, on the phone, inventing visions, mental collisions, intuition seeming like premonition. What up, YouTube? This your boy down low back for another reply. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man. So, did you guys see the trailer of the Yeezus movie in which Kanye went and got Hype Williams and they going to do pretty much a concert movie, man, and put it in the actual theaters? And you know, that sounds like it'll be pretty fucking dope. As long as Hype Williams cuts out all of the bullshit raps. But besides that, sounds like a fucking winner to me. But anyway, on to today's reply, and it's to that Diddy featuring Rick Ross, that big homie. And you know, this was absolutely fucking terrible. Like, come on, Diddy. You know better than to put this bullshit out. Like, and here's the thing. It is completely obvious that Rick Ross ghost wrote this shit for Diddy. Because, of course, Diddy doesn't write fucking lyrics. But, of course, Rick Ross isn't that advanced of a writer, man, to the point that only shit that he writes sounds like some shit that he would say. You dig? He couldn't come up with any kind of other style for Diddy to rap. And at least when Rick Ross spits his own lyrics, man, he has confidence in what he said. Even if it's a complete and utter fucking lie, he spits that shit with complete confidence. And that's something that Diddy just didn't do here. Really, you listen to how Diddy's rapping on here, he sounds like a underground rapper that's only been in it for like three months. He has no passion, he has no belief in the words that he's fucking saying. And here's the problem with being a fucking boss of your own shit like Diddy. He is. Who the fuck is gonna question him? Who the fuck is gonna come to him and tell him, you know what, dog? You probably shouldn't put this shit out, did he? No fucking body. But anyway, on to today's article from downloadpass.com. And actually, this song plays into the article, man, in which the article was about offending people. See, here's the thing a lot of people are so afraid of offending others, man, that they just go along with the bullshit. See, most of these people like, okay, this guy has the potential to be somebody. He could actually shine in this industry, and I don't want to get on his bad side, so let me try not to offend him, man. Let me go ahead and just co-sign whatever he said to keep him in my good graces. Now, let's face the reality of this situation. First of all, you are crippling them by not telling them the fucking real. Therefore, they're not going to see the success that that you hope they will fucking see. Second of all, if you can't be completely real to these people, man, then honestly, they're not your fucking friend. And if they did succeed, they're not taking you with them. So what's the fucking point in lying? Why betray yourself? in order to stay in good graces of someone who doesn't give a fuck about how you feel really. You guys need to man the fuck up and quit letting that shit dictate how you feel. Be yourself, find your own success.